And tonight we bring you the first segment of an in-depth look at one of the many projects our local marine archaeologists worked on. Kelsey Fabian is live in the studio with more. Kelsey? That's right, Lindsay. The Thunder Bay Marine Sanctuary is a staple in the Alpena community. Tourists know it for its glass bottom boat tours and its maritime museum, but we're going to take a look at what the sanctuary does under the water. All aboard NOAA's research vessel Storm. Storm is used by the sanctuary's marine archaeologists to explore and study the shipwrecks of Thunder Bay. We got to spend some time aboard the vessel learning about the past and present of a ship that sunk nearly 100 years ago. Montana was really an interesting craft because uh, unlike a lot of the vessels of its era, it had a very long, very colorful career. In 1914, when the Montana was destroyed by fire, she wasn't coming here. She was going from Detroit to uh, Georgian Bay, Canada to load lumber. All those on board survived the fire and now the vessel lives on the bottom of Thunder Bay. Mapping the sunken Montana is the latest project of NOAA's marine archaeologists. Well, basically what we're trying to accomplish this week is to create a site plan, which is the baseline documentation of a shipwreck. The documentation is a drawing that helps keep track of the ship's changes and can be used as a map for visiting divers. In order to start the drawing process, they must first grid their site. This wreck is about 240 feet long, uh, maybe 50 feet wide, and so we put a, a tape measure right down the middle and then several other tape measures crosswise and divide it up in a section. So it's really a, a giant puzzle. The archaeologists then split into two diving teams, starting their underwater adventure. The next step for the crew involves showing their artistic side. Tune in tomorrow at 6 and 11 to see how the team actually draws underwater. Back to you, Lindsay.